Hello everybody and welcome to a very special tropical update. Now, if you guys have noticed, I haven't really been uploading as much lately. I've been super busy with other stuff in my life. But uh, I'm hopefully here back full time now. And uh, we're going to start off with a look at what is tropical depression Nuri. Now, this thing has been pretty consistent ever since it got off the... Uh, the coast of the Philippines here and uh as of right now it has like 39 winds and uh it looks like the peak is going to be 45 knots as it's making landfall maybe might be might be might be pushing 50 knots but 45 45 50 knots is probably what it's going to be like at this current point in time um, as you can see, this thing is really, really uh, scooting off here at 13 knots, which I would assume is like 16, 17, maybe 18 miles an hour. So it's it's get it's booking it. it uh, so China, it won't be there before too long. Um, yeah, Clark A B. 240 not at the 43 nautical miles Hong, Hong Kong 390 uh, 329 nautical miles Manila 283 nautical miles Subic Bay 241 miles and the cow sting is uh 347 nautical miles so yeah everybody here on the border of China just needs to pay attention to this um, if it's 50 knots going in, it's probably closer to 60 miles per hour. But if it's 45, then it's going to be closer to 55, maybe 60. Alright, here is the visible satellite imagery of what is tropical depression Nuri. Um, as you can tell, it's, it's trying to want to wrap itself around, around it, uh, itself here. You can see uh, outflow, outflow, outflow outflow so this is a pretty nice looking tropical depression for what it is it doesn't look like any wind shear is impeding on it because as you can see in all directions there's outflow instead of inflow which is pretty much the wind shear so as you can see there's blow ups of, blow ups of storms going on here in the Philippines and there's blow ups of storms here coming up to these islands over here now I'm assuming this is the center of circulation right here. Let's go take another look here. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is the uh, center of circulation right here. One more look. Yeah. There's this. This is going like this way right here. So if this completes the circuit, the wrap around, this may strengthen a little bit more than what it what it's saying. So. uh you know, just keep your eyes and ears on your uh, national uh, weather services in this area for more details. Or I'll be doing updates twice a day on this system if you want to come and check my updates out. You know, I'll keep you guys informed as best as I can because um, that's what I do. I love, I love, you know, helping people out, making sure they're safe, get out the uh, latest info for you guys. All right, we're gonna take a few look at a few models here, and this is the GFS for a. It's an initiated 12Z, but it goes later up, later a little bit later on today to the 18Z hour. And here is our system right here. It's a 999 millibar tropical tropical storm Nuri or tropical cyclone. Tri uh, yeah, tri they do they do call them tropical storms over there. So tropical storm Nuri here. This is 999 millibars, and the highest it gets up to is 997 millibars before just suddenly weakening before it goes into land. Now this is about 36 to 42 hours before it makes landfall here in China. So anywhere from Hong Kong, which is like right in here, to anywhere down here just needs to pay attention to this thing. We're gonna go 120 hours out, and uh, as far as that, you know, you just got to deal with that for the next 48 hours, and you should be good for a little bit.
we will have storms a little bit later on but we'll talk about that when the time comes but uh as for now you know hopefully you guys won't have to deal with this too much longer according to the gfs all right european model here this is initiated at 12z and valid at 12z so here's our system right in here the uh, European has it as, as a thousand millibars closed isotherm, so that's definitely a system right there. And it strengthens it to a 996 millibar tropical storm before it hits into uh, China. Now, I don't know how, what the terrain is like over there on that part of the side of China, but uh, it seems like it dissipates it pretty quickly. So. Can somebody tell me if there's mountains on that side of China? Because that's probably why it's dissipating so quickly. Uh, I'm assuming there's mountains on that side of China. So, yeah. This is the same, pretty much the same scenario as the GFS. You know, you have to deal with it for 48 hours and then it's gone. Uh, just uh, make sure you, like... As I said, the max wind speeds could be between 45 and maybe even 55 knots. So with that being said, you know, make sure you bring your stuff inside. Make sure everything is secure because, you know, with those kind of winds, that is enough to whip around small objects. May not be able to be, it's not strong enough to whip around big objects, but small objects, that kind of wind can pick them up pretty easy. Here is the Canadian model, and here is our system right here. This is uh, initiated at 12Z and valid a little bit later on today at the 18Z hour. The Canadian here has it at a 999 millibar system here, and the Canadian model doesn't really do too much with it. So hopefully, this is the scenario that happens here. We want the Canadian. We we want the Canadian to be right here. Because you may only get it like a depression out of this trop tropical depression, with li with a little tiny bit of rainfall, there's the, you can't get away, can't get out of getting some rainfall out of this, no matter what it is. I don't think so. This the, the Canadian model is so far the best case scenario for this region of China. Here's the icon initiated 12Z and it valid pretty much right now uh, we're gonna go out in time now the icon doesn't really want to do too much with it either it just keep it keeps it at a tropical depression status going into uh, China again I believe this is one of the best case scenarios as well because you know the weaker it is the better it is and you won't have to deal with too much damage and uh, you know, storm surge and uh, too much rain with that. Well, no, I take that back. Rain is still definitely going to be a problem, but but according to this, this is a bare minimal tropical depression going into China. So let's hope that the, that the Canadian model and the Icon model turns out to be true. That is what I'm hoping for. And I'm sure that's what you guys are hoping for if you guys are watching from China. And you know let's uh we just got to pay attention to the to the skies and uh you know watch mother mother nature do do its thing because that's that's the case with the canadian and icon you know you just have to let mother nature do its thing all right let's, we're, we're gonna look at the rainfall totals for china here in the next 48 hours we are looking anywhere from 45 millimeters to maybe 70 millimeters of rain now we're gonna go out to five days which is 120 hours out you know so I can give you guys an extended look at the rainfall totals five days out so two days out might make it, make it a little bit easier all right as you can see five days out we could be seeing 90 to 150 millimeters of rain at that same location that tropical depression nori comes right into this is three days after the storm has gone away so you guys are going to get some extended rainfall out of this 
So there will probably be some flash flooding issues. So, you know, as I say, with everything that has to do with the, uh, with measurable rainfall amounts, if you see water on the roadways, turn around, don't drown. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will have another update later on tonight.